heart of our potential is that on the basis of that divine gift we've been given, we can call the whole global village to our shores. That is a strength and that we can build on. We, we are a people, we are a people that know how to take care of and how to support one another. We are a people that know how to organize events. We are a people that know how to deliver services. We are a people that know how to celebrate our accomplishments. And we are a people that know how to rally around a cause that touches our heart. We are a people that know how, what binds and what holds the community together. That is a strength, and we can build on that. We are a people that are blessed to share this island with our native people. The native people are our teachers, and we have much to learn. They can teach us about relationships, they can teach us about building community, and they can teach us about the best ways to protect and treasure and hold and keep sacred this precious land upon which we stand. We have in our midst a magnificent university. That magnificent institution has been training and educating our people for a long time now. And now it is incredibly notable that 30% of the students enrolled in that institution are international students that have come to be with us. <laughs> To walk the campus at CBU is to come to understand that we have here in downtown Cape Breton our own United Nations. One of the things, one of our pieces of potential, every student that comes to be with us is a potentially new citizen of CBRM. We have an opportunity to invite them to come with us. We have an opportunity to invite them to be part of what we are going to create. That is a strength, and we can build on it. We are an island of talented people. We are artists. We are musicians, we are writers, we are storytellers. In the next couple of weeks, within the next couple of weeks, once again, we will be hosting that fantastic event, Celtic Cult Colors International Festival. We, with this talent, this talent presents us with an amazing and an infinite potential. In the 21st century, one of the, one of the things that's going to characterize the new economy is that these new economies are going to be referred to as creative economies. Not only does this talent, not only does this strength position us to participate in that economy, this talent, this strength, this possibility positions us to be a leader in that economy. This is a strength, and we will build on it. We have in our midst a small, a small but strong and growing innovation sector consisting of both businesses and activities. What that sector is about, it's about young people predominantly. Young people sh able to share, able to bring their genius and their creativity right to the rest of the world. That strength that we have, that possibility that we have, that, that really presents us 
with the possibility of a promise that we can make to our youth. And that is a promise that we must fulfill. And that is a strength, and we can build on it. We have, we have, we have a world-class harbor. And while the rest of the world may still see us as a poor, marginalized people at the end of the earth, through the development of that harbor, what will be understood from one end of this globe to the other is that we are a people, we are an island people, and we just happen to be located smack dead center in the middle of the whole wide world. And that is our strength, and we can build on it. We are a people of faith, and we are a people of hope. To be a people of faith is to be a people that believe. And that belief is so strong that it becomes a knowing. We know what we can do. And to be a people of hope is to be a people that understand when there are obstacles, to understand that if we join together, if we stand together, we can blast right through them, and by God, we will. And that is a strength. And we will build on that. I say, I say in this year, I say on this day, I say in this hour, come with me. Let us start the new story. Let us write the new story. And that story, that story must be written by men and women. And that story, that story must be written by the young as well as the old. And that story must be inspired by the native and the non-native. And that story will be constructed by those of us who have lived here for a long time and those of us who have just recently come to these shores. And I say, and I say, let that story, let that story be a story about justice. I say, let that story be a story about cooperation. I say, let that story be a story about prosperity for all of our people. And I say, let that be a story that will call our children home. you at this hour, I ask you at this moment, stand with me, join me, walk with me, elect me, elect Rankin McSween. That can be a strength and we can build on it. Thank you very much. God bless you all.